what's up everyone welcome to the channel on this episode i'll be unboxing and reviewing this six scale war machine mark 4 by hot toys from the movie avengers infinity war it's a pretty heavy figure it's made of die cast um i could have done the review a couple of months ago um, but i've just been so busy with flight training someone actually collected this on my behalf the packaging gives off a very dark and menacing appearance um, mostly in matte. Now, there are some gloss areas, mainly the logo here and some lines. The war machine printing actually wraps around the box to the right and to the left. At the back, too long, didn't read. They have gone with the slight design um i kind of prefer the old school book style design but that's just me moving to the contents Okay, he has three pairs of hands, one clenched fist with the uh, exposed pots. Hmm, I like the nice um, digital camo. Uh, one is the regular with the articulated fingers. Right, and the last one would be the palm reactor pose, or the the one that looks like a boob grabbing pose. And then the this mask. This goes with the. Does it move this way? Yeah, this way. Um, the figure comes with the clenched fist. I think mine sort of broke off, but never mind. And then for the shoulder, there is this large Gatling gun, futuristic looking Gatling gun. And finally, before that, let us look at all of this. Let's look at the figure itself. God, it's heavy. It actually weighs a lot, <laughs> a lot more than it looks. Some paperwork. No one reads that. And more accessories. Uh, looks like they have uh, removed the batteries. So, display stand, some tools for the batteries. This uh, the missile port. Get a 
better look at it. This looks like the wrist cannon. Two wrist cannons. ammunition finally the display base oh it has a matte finish and a glossy avengers infinity war logo not sure if this is replaceable no it's not Okay, and everything has been attached. And first things first, I must say I absolutely love that head sculpt. It looks just like Don Cheadle. The faceplate can be removed, um, and they're basically attached by magnets. And I realized that you can actually close the faceplate, which will make the head piece assemble the other one with the LED uh, unit inside. So you get two head pieces, one with a head scalp and one with an LED unit. For the missile ports, they are pretty straightforward. Um, I basically just remove these cover pieces and slapped on the missile port piece. Kind of looks like a butterfly. Now this can be removed as well. Um, all you do is you can just remove this separate piece if you don't want to uh, display the gun extended, and then just put it in like so. And there you go. And I just actually discovered that the chest plate, the chest plate can be removed to expose the interior, but uh, they haven't given, they haven't provided with a battle damage one, so not sure why that was uh, thought of in the first place. But uh, it's a good thing to have anyway. As for the shoulder machine gun bullets, uh, basically all you need to do is just flip up the cover and then just place it inside. Pretty straightforward. The guns on the arms uh, require a little bit of work. Um, basically I had to remove these pieces from the original arm and then uh, attach uh, both pieces, the top gun and the bottom gun. Uh, all in. It makes the figure look absolutely gorgeous. Articulation for this figure is not bad. Uh, the gun can swing from the hinge 120 degrees. The gun itself can rotate, because it's a ball joint, it can rotate 360 degrees. As for the arms, they only 
raised by 90 degrees. Uh, but there's a double ball joint. So apart from the standard ball joint, you actually get this hinge at the back that allows it to swing up a further, I don't know, 20 to 40 degrees. Uh, this hinge actually, actually allows the figure to point the arm forward in this manner. There are double joints on the elbows. Without extending, it's 80 degrees. With the arm extended, it goes all the way to 110 degrees. The torso by default is compressed. Um, extending all the way up will allow the figure to have better posability, like so. Same thing with the legs. You can pull it out to allow for uh, better posability, but I must say they do, they do look a little bit weird with the legs ex extended. And um, should you require the legs to bend forward, you can actually raise these little flaps here. Right. Rotation for the legs, 20 degrees. Um, just be careful about the, the back here, which I would say is pretty prone to damage because of the sharp edges. Angles for the legs, 70 degrees. Double joints on the knees, which will allow it to extend all the way to 150 degrees. On the score sheet, accessories I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Build quality, 9 out of 10. Detail, 9 out of 10. Paint job, perfect 10, 10 out of 10. Price and value for money, 8 out of 10. Total score, 45. In terms of percentage, recommendation value, 90. Percent. That brings me to the end of this video. Do leave in the comments what you think about this figure. If you enjoyed this video, click a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.